Let's create a very simple isometric letter A. We're going to go into isometric grid settings in the isometric panel. We're going to go show grid, get this nice big grid here. We've got 0.5 spacings, one division, and we're going to just start drawing. We make sure we've got edit and plane right here, edit and plane, and then we can draw. First, we are going to start on the front panel, I think, and we're going to draw whatever we want the letter A width to be. So I've got my width as one, two, three, four, five, six squares there. And then we're going to do the height here. And then we're just going to go alt and drag that over there. I may have made it a bit too wide. So let's make it a bit more narrow. And then I'm going to alt drag that down. And we've got the first part of our letter A. Make sure it's aligning nicely to the grid. And then we're going to add the rest on here. While we're going to add the top like so. We're going to give that a different color. And then we're going to add the, uh, the side here like that, give it another color, better color. And then on the top, we're gonna have to draw this one in ourselves because it's otherwise gonna get cut off. So we're gonna give that that weird, crazy color there. And then another one on the side here. Now it helps to have the right plane selected, then, then you can actually figure out what you're doing. And we've got one more here on the right side, right there on the side panel rather. And then we've got our A. Now, if you want to add any stroke, you can just, I don't know, add any kind of stroke you want. But you see it's got these kind of weird lines. So if you want to get rid of the weird lines, you just have to make all of these one single shape. And now you've got it all looking perfect.